Hello, I am Cynthia Hansen, and as you know, I am a screenwriter and filmmaker with Biclone, and today I'd like to talk to you about why I decided to become such and the movies that inspired me to. The first movie is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I basically grew up with this movie. I saw it when I was six years old, and when it first aired on television, and then I liked it, and then I saw it again when I was 12, when a new VHS came out, and I loved it. And then when it was re-released for its 20th anniversary in 2002, when I was 17, I not only saw it again, but I started looking up everything I possibly could about how the film was made, and I liked learning how Steven Spielberg believed in the film, even when so many were afraid it wouldn't succeed. And E.T. inspires me because I love the character who reminds me of the Wogglebug in some ways. I think Elliot's relationship with E.T. is a lot like mine with Mr. Wogglebug, and I want Mr. Wogglebug's movie to be just as inspiring and in touching to the world as E.T.'s, though likely not as dark for this day and age. I want children to be just as inspired by him and want to hug him. I've read so many stories of young people who have had their lives changed for the better because of seeing the movie, and that is what drives me to want to make movies and write screenplays the most. The next movie is The Wizard of Oz, which I grew up on, and it was what helped me to develop an imagination, and I always loved learning about how it was made also. I love the book and the movie, which are very different from each other, and I've read all the sequels to the book, which was how I got to know Mr. Wogglebug, of course, and I always thought if the main cast of Oz could have a movie that was different from the books and be successful, then why couldn't Mr. Wogglebug have his own movie that was separated from Oz entirely and just as successful and more? The next movie is Anything Done by Charlie Chaplin. He is my idol, and he and I both have our birthdays on April 16. He made his movies all by himself, and even though they are black and white silent pictures, they remain timeless classics to this day, and that still make people laugh and inspire them also. I love learning about his life and how he persevered in his art in the face of adversity. I believe he and I are the same kind of people, and I have to learn to always keep going forward, no matter what comes in my way, just like he did, and so everything will turn out right in the end for me and for my movies. And this is one of the Chaplin dolls I have. And this is another... And he, and he plays the signature song, Smile. And speaking of dolls, I learned today my new Wogglebug doll is going to be arriving very soon. And you'll see me open it and my reaction will be very genuine. Please like, comment, and remember to subscribe for more.